Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Waparakim. Peace, mercy, and blessing unto all of you, Sakwanya, Wa'akim, unto the Bayaf El the house of David, unto the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, that he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Today we're being called by bywords and proverbs such as Black, African American, Haitian, Jamaican, West Indian, uh, Latin, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indians. Okay, but we actually make up the law of 12 tribes of Israel. The so called white men, they're not white, they're red. They are the Idumians, according to, to the Bible. According to Bible prophecy, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right, what you see here is an article from uh, from Daily Mail. Okay, it was uploaded on the 1st. It says, nearly a third <clears throat> of the world's 60,000 tree species, including magnolia, oak, and maple, are at risk of extinction due to agriculture, logging, and livestock farming, report warrants. Okay, so the earth is dying under Esau's rulership. The earth is being destroyed under Esau's rulership, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is plaguing the earth, okay? But a lot of these things, this man is doing <clears throat> as well, okay? Because he, he's, he, just, he just ain't right. You know, as it says in Habakkuk, the spirit that is with him is not upright within him, okay? So it is uh, fracking, you know, sucking the oil from the earth. It's causing sinkholes to open up, earthquakes. You know, according to his blessing, it's the dew of the heaven. He's destroying towns with his direct energy weapons. Okay, look that up. It says, the state of the world's trees report uses data from 500 international experts. The report has been published by Botanic Gardens Conservation International. Researchers assessed the 58,597 species of tree, finding 17,500 to be at risk and some 440 tree species are represented only by 50 or fewer individuals. Human activities, no, Edomite activities, okay, like agriculture, livestock, and farming and logging are putting nearly a third of the world's tree species at risk of extinction, a report as one, okay? More than 500 experts from the 60 institutions collected data over five years for the state of the world's trees report from Botanic Gardens Conservation International. One thing this man does practice is deforestization. Okay. Let's look that up. Okay, this is from Wikipedia. <clears throat> deforestation or forest clearance is the removal of a forest or stand of trees from land that is then converted to non-forest use. So pretty much this man will take out a whole forest, the animals in their natural habitat, and put them all there, okay? Put a concentration camp there, put, put, a, put a neighborhood there, okay? Deforestation can involve conversion of forest land to farms, ranches, or urban use. The most concentrated deforestation occurs in tropical rainforests, okay? And down there in South America, the Amazon, actually the Amazon is on fire. Okay, and the tribes that are down there, they're actually being uh, displaced. Okay, now the scripture tells you <clears throat> that you're not supposed to do that. Now, there are certain trees you can cut, but a lot of, but Esau doesn't follow the scriptures, man. All right, this is Deuteronomy 20 and 19. When thou shalt besiege a city a long time and make a war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing the axe against them. But what does Esau do? He's, a, he's that feller. Okay. For thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down, for the tree of the field is man's life, to employ them in the seas. Now, if you look at today, there's no fruit growing on any of these trees. No, not in your backyard, not in, in your neighborhood, not in your neighbor's backyard. Nothing's growing on these trees, man. No fruit is growing, okay? So imagine like Joshua, <clears throat> okay, in, in his uh, conquest for the land of, of Israel, Okay, when they besieged the city, you know, 
for example, let's just look at, now we know what happened to Jericho, but let's just lose, use Jericho as an example. When they besieged a city, they posted a camp round about it, right? And, and it says, now, for the meat of that city was all the places that, uh, for the meat, for the men that were in the military was pretty much the forest that provided fruits for them to eat, that provided vegetables that provided goods that was their employment and the seeds that was how they were going to survive okay and it says only the trees which thou knowest that they be not trees for meat thou shalt destroy and cut them down and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that make it war with thee until it be subdued so only the trees that didn't bear any fruit or did you not any good those were to be cut down okay just like Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai cursed a tree that that did not bring forth fruit, okay? And if you want to know what a bulwark is, it says a defensive wall, okay? It says something that provides protection for or against something, a wall that is built for protection, okay? And one, one thing that happened when the Romans besieged the land of Israel is that they built a wall around it, okay? So that the Israelites wouldn't get out. And they cut off their, their, uh, their supply line. Okay. <clears throat> right now, back in the article. It says the researchers assessed that the 58,497 species of tree that grow across the globe finding that around 17,500 are on the worrying path towards extinction. If this man is left in power, there will be no flesh to be saved. Okay. These include well-known species such as magnolia, oaks, maple, and ebonese, hundreds of species of teetering on the brink, the report warm, like the Manai white beam, which is represented by only 30 trees in its North Wells home. <laughs> One in every five tree species are directly used by humans for applications, including food, fuel, horticulture, medicines, and timber. Okay, so this man, this correct, and not for, not to forget oxygen, right? Because you get oxygen from from the trees. Okay, so this man is is as death. All right, who lodges his desire as hell? <clears throat> it says, however, over exploitation and mismanagement is harming many species, and at least 142 have have been recorded as recently going extinct. <laughs> okay. Let's go to um, Isaiah. You know, because the earth is completely defiled under this man's rulership, man. Okay. And you can look at the uh, the, the chemtrails. All right. You can look at the um, the genetically modified foods. Okay. From all angles, it, 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 it's defiled. Okay. The, the sinkholes, the, uh, the fires. All right. This is Isaiah 24 and 3. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh by Hashem Shai has spoken this word. All right, because just like the article said, man, you use the trees. A lot of trees grow fruit. A lot of these trees you can use the sap in different parts of the tree as medicine. Okay, you, of course you use it for oxygen. <clears throat> the land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh by Hashem Shai has spoken this word. The earth mourned and faded away. The world languished and faded away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Right? And one thing this man doesn't keep, you know, they have knowledge of the scriptures, but they don't apply any of his laws. They don't keep the land Sabbath. Okay? Therefore, the land is being worked and worked, and everything that's being produced is not what it should be. Okay, it's not of equal value from the ancient world. In the ancient world, it said two, it took two men to carry a, a cluster of grapes. Okay, but now your little baby can handle a, a cluster of grapes. <clears throat> you see, so therefore the world is, is waxing uh, weaker and it's languishing. Okay, and if we continue at this uh, rate, there will be no flesh to be saved. This is Revelation 11 and verse 18. It says, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. Right, and right now the nations are angry. Okay, over in China they're putting it out there that you no, know, they want to stop. 
uh, sissy boys from being on their, their TV so they can promote masculinity in their men. <laughs> okay? Because they have drunk of Esau's wine, and what's in his wine is uh, homosexuality, it's democracy, it's religion, it's science, it's technology, it's genetically modified foods, and they have drunken of that, and now they're mad. Okay? His FRA notes, his money system. And of the time of the dead, and that they should be judged, <clears throat> And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy service to prophets and to the saints and unto them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So the time is coming to where these people that are destroying the world, okay, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, and now on top of that, they're going to serve a, a thousand years of, of slavery, man. Okay, starting with the elites. <clears throat> Back in the article. Another human-driven threat is climate changes, which is altering the habitat ranges of various species with cloud forest species in Central America at particular risk. Right, the scripture says that the wild beasts shall change their places, okay, due to the habitats being cut down or, or burned down or due to them looking for food. At least 180 tree species are being directly threatened by sea level rise and weather extremes the report noted including magnolias in the Caribbean. Meanwhile, including risk of fire are presenting major threats to various trees in Madagascar and the oak uh, species of the United States. Right, and we go to the book of Luke. Luke 12, y'all wish I said this, man. This is Luke 12, and... 49, I have come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Right, when you go to the New Living Translation, he said, I'm come to send fire on the earth, and how I wish it were already burning. Okay, so how about Shemel Shai is awesomely doing this, man. He's having the West Coast burn down, different parts of Africa, different parts of Russia, Siberia. That's part of the prophecy that the fires will be here. Okay, it's also an address. This is 2nd Edges 5, verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, which there's there's um, a lot of confusion over this um, serpent science, you know, the serpent's bite. Okay? There's confusion over whether Biden is, is, is the actual president or is Trump coming. There's confusion from every angle. Okay? And the fire shall be all sent out again. That's these wildfires. Okay? And the wild beasts shall change their places, right? Because their habitats are being destroyed, okay? And mistress woman shall bring forth monsters. They're going to come into the cities, okay? And a lot of people are going to run to the, to the, to the woods, and, and the wild beast is going to tear the ass apart, okay? <clears throat> Let's get a few more. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And it's not just the people mourning. The whole entire earth is mourning, man. Because the planet earth has a spirit to it and it's not flat. Okay? The scripture tells you that it's, it's a round earth. Okay? And, 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 and the earth will be given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? So with him giving the earth, it's, it's being destroyed. It's being defiled. And people are in a state of mourning. And that's why there's uproars and, and protest. Okay? Everybody's angry, man. How even the earth is angry. This is Isaiah 14 and verse 7. And this is what's going to happen when this man gets put in his place. Okay? It says the whole earth is at rest. Because right now the earth is not at rest, man. Alright? Because it's being covered with uh, concrete. Okay? You can't even ground. You, and you know... You this concrete breaks down your your body, your bones, all right, your ligaments, okay, the ho and it's also smaller in the earth, which is why you have a term the rose that grew from the concrete, man. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. This reminds me of that scene from Wizard of Oz, you know, when the when the wicked witch died, they broke out into a musical, okay. So when Esau is, <laughs> is taken down. 
that's how it's going to feel, man. It's going to be a sigh of relief, all right? Because he is the he is the disease, man, okay? As it tells you, the rock, the physician cuts off the long disease. This man is actually a disease unto the planet Earth. This is the rock 10 and verse 10. The physician cut it off a long disease. And who's that? Who's the physician? Jehovah Shai is the ultimate physician, man. Okay. And who's the long disease? The Edomites. They're the curse. They're the reason why the earth is in the, in the shape that it is. That, that's why there's oil in the water. There's plastic pollution. There's trash in space. Okay. And he does to their king. Tomorrow shall die, right? Right now they have the kingdom, okay? But it ain't even been a full day to the Most High, man, okay? So they're getting ready to be taken out of power. Isaiah 14 and 8. Yet the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. And the feller <clears throat> is someone who cuts down trees, man, Okay? Strong's H, 3772. Karath. Karath. It says to cut, to cut down, to eliminate, to kill. Okay, and this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing to the trees. <laughs> okay, and the trees also represents uh, nations. You know, men would compare this trees. So it's twofold, man. You know, this is what he's doing to the people of the world and the actual planet, okay? So it's going to get to the point where even the trees are going to rejoice at this man being put in captivity. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. And I went onto the commentary here, right? For Isaiah 14 and 8. Okay, and this is the uh, Bible Hub. And this is from Ellie, Ellicott's commentary for English reader. It says, Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee. The tree has been identified with the Aleppo pine, which grows abundantly on the Lebanon range above the zone of the evergreen oaks. It says, Often translated by cypress, the Vulgate and authorized version commonly by fir tree, as wood was largely used in house and shipbuilding, but was less precious than the cedar. Okay. No fellows come up against us. The literal and figurative senses melt into each other. The former perhaps being the more prominent. It was the boast of Oster Bonapal and other Assyrian kings that wherever they conquered, they cut down forests and left the land bare. The modern day Assyrians are, are these Edomites who are also the modern day Egyptians. <laughs> okay. And wherever they conquered, the land is, is left bare. You know, because it might not appear to be bare, but it's very bare. And if it were to go on, it would look like it would look like the uh, the planet Mars, man. <clears throat> okay. So with that, you know, I pray that this has been uh, edifying and informative. Call all your ma, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasai, Mabarakim. Peace, mercy, and blessing to the elect. Shalom.